think of Jesus as the kind of kid who gets in trouble, do we? But here in the book of Luke, we see his mother giving him the speech. We've all heard a time or two. Where were you? I was worried sick. Your father and I have been looking for you everywhere. Mary had an unusual child. He was God's son. And as he told her, he was in his father's house, the temple doing his father's work. Jesus was the kind of kid who always did the right thing. He honored and respected his parents, and he showed his love for them by doing what he was asked to do. God wants us to honor our moms and our dads in the same way, by listening, by learning, and following directions. Not only will we honor them with our obedience, but we will grow into the kind of people God wants us to be, the kind of people he expects our parents to you know, raise. It's easy to think in the heat of the moment. Oh, Mom just wants me to fold this laundry because she's just being lazy and she's the mom. Why doesn't she do it? That's her job. You know, part of mom's job is to teach you how to fold your own laundry because, well, she's not going to be around to fold it for you all the time. You're going to have your own place eventually and you need to know how to fold your own laundry. It's important that you learn these skills like, well, same goes for every chore. She's not being lazy. Same can be said of mom taking us to the doctor or feeding us nutritious food or kicking us outside instead of us playing video games indoors. Mom wants us to have healthy habits. And if we learn to eat veggies now, then when we're grown up, we'll eat them. And if we're wise, we'll also pay attention and learn how to take care of our health so that we'll live well when we're on our own one day. Moms also make us go to church every week in hopes that eventually we'll continue that as adults. The greatest responsibility our parents have is to raise children to fear the Lord. If we are wise, we will honor our parents by loving God and growing our own relationship with him, just as they have. God gave us the command to obey our parents. But God also gave parents the command to raise us right. God wants our parents to teach us to love and to love others. He wants them to teach us to be responsible and respectful. He wants them to teach us on how to live a healthy lifestyle, physically and spiritually. It's a tough job carried out with great love. And when we honor our parents by listening and obeying them, we are showing that we love them in return. I hope you got your mom or that special person in your life something nice this Mother's Day. But I hope in the coming days, you won't let the giving end. We need to give mom our love and respect every day. We need to listen when she speaks, do our jobs to the best of our abilities, and be open to learning all she has to teach us. Moms are special people with a hard job. It's not easy raising kids. It never has been. But when we listen and obey her like God teaches us, we are showing mom we love her in a way that says so much more than flowers. Show your mother you love her, honor and obey her, and thank God for the blessing she is to you. Now we will close with a little prayer. So let's close our eyes, bow our heads, because we'll be talking to Jesus now. Dear God, thank you for our moms. Thank you for those who are like moms to us. In Jesus' name, amen. Have you ever wandered off on your mom and dad like Jesus did? Mm. Mm. Yep, everyone's going to have to answer that question for themselves. Now, if you guys want yeah. to send us, send us your answers to those questions on our Facebook page yes. or uh, through the website. That'd be awesome. Uh, I do remember a time when one of my kids was a toddler and she ran off in oh. Toys R Us. She disappeared around the corner and I was really, really, really pregnant. So I was walking really, really slow. And for a few minutes there, neither myself nor uh, Ian could find her. And it was really, really scary. Oh, that would have been scary. Yeah. Now, our next question. How did your mom or whoever was with you react? Mm -hmm. Mm. Yeah. I mean, you might not have a story like that. Some of the kids are watching. But... Uh, mm -hmm. You can imagine what an adult adult might be thinking if they mm -hmm. can't find a two-year-old or a five-year-old or ten-year-old in the store or somewhere. It would be scary. Yeah. Yeah. Now, what kind of 
kid do you think Jesus was with his mom? Hmm. Hmm. I wondered that too, eh? Yeah. I mean, I think he was a pretty great kid in general. I I'm sure he still gave his parents some grief. Um, well, especially the story that we were uh, talking about today. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Now, how does mom show us love by giving us chores? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Things to do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's lots of love. Lots of love. Uh, well, we do need to be prepared and we do need to learn how to do some yep. things for ourselves. Mm -hmm. Those are important. So, yes, um, good skills to have. Now, what are some ways we can show mom we love her other than cards and presents? I mean, those are really nice too, but mm -hmm. there are other ways. Yep. I mean, I'll hmm. let each of the kids decide for themselves. Um, for me, it's not about the gifts. It's how you make mom feel and someone or someone who's like a mom to you, how you make them feel. So it's not just about the gifts, but how you make them feel. Yes, that's right. Great. Well, okay. Share with us some of your questions, some of the answers to those questions, guys. And uh, Fatima, happy Mother's Day. And happy Mother's Day to you, Angela. Thank you. See you guys.